Once again, you are welcome to Angel Health Academy. Subject, Community Health Nursing, Mnemonic. Topic for the day is Directorate General of Health Services. Health Organization and Administration in India or Health System in India has three main links or there are three levels of health system. They are Central or National level, State level, District or Local level. So the levels of health system includes central or national, state and district or local level. There are three official organs of health system at central or national level. They are Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Directorate General of Health Services and Central Council of Health and Family Welfare. So there are three official organs of health system at central or national level. They are Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. Directorate General of Health Services and Central Council of Health and Family Welfare. In this video, let us discuss in detail about the Directorate General of Health Services, DGHS. To understand about the Directorate General of Health Services, I have made a mnemonic that is MPG. I have been used a mnemonic like LPG in relation to Central Council of Health and Family Welfare in my previous video. LPG stands for uh, the functions of Central Council of Health and Family Welfare and here MPG that is related to Directorate General of Health Services. M stands for Medical Care and Hospitals, P stands for Public Health through primary health center and G stands for general administrations. Let us discuss in detail about Directorate General of Health Services DGHS. Directorate General of Health Services headed by Director General of Health Services. He is the principal advisor to the union government related to medicine and public health. Directorate General of Health Services DGHS deals with both medical and public health activities. And the Director General of Health Services assisted by Additional Director General of Health Services. The Organization of Director General of Health Services, DGHS. So, DGHS, Director General of Health Services is headed by Director General of Health Services, then followed by Additional Director General of Health Services, then Assistant Director General of Health Services, and mainly three Deputy Director of General Health Services and with large administrative staffs. So, Organization of Director General of Health Services includes DGHS, Additional DGHS, Assistant DGHS, Deputy DGHS and Large Administrative Staffs. So DGHS mainly comprises of three main units that is our MPG, Medical Care and Hospitals, Public Health and General Administration. In short, health system in India at central level we have a Directorate General of Health Services headed by Director General of Health Services. He is the Chief Advisor to the Government of India in relation to medicine and public health. There are three main units under Directorate General of Health Services that is headed by Deputy Director General. So Deputy Director General for Medical Care and Hospital, Deputy Director General for Public Health through Primary Health Center, then Deputy Director General for General Administration. Next is Functions of Director General of Health Services. The functions of DGHS is classified into general functions and specific functions. I have been made a mnemonic for general functions that is SPAC. S P P A C. S stands for survey, a P stands for planning, another P stands for programming, A stands for appraisal or monitoring of all health matters in the country, and C stands for coordinating. Let us expand in detail the general functions of DGHS includes health survey that is survey then planning the health services and programming the health organization then monitoring or evaluation or appraisal of all health matters in the nation and last one is coordinating the health services in the nation the second function is specific functions mnemonic i have made is health system in india has three levels at national level three organs that is Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Central Council of Health and Family Welfare and Directorate General of Health Services. Then Directorate General of Health Services has three main units such as Medical Care, Public Health and General Administrations. So this is the simple mnemonic I have been made as a sentence I have framed. From this we will select the specific functions of DGHS. So let us expand this mnemonic. First is health system. Health system stands for health statistics or health intelligence or national health statistics. Then in India stands for international health and quarantine. Then we have three levels. L stands for library that is medical library. Then national level. National level stands for national health programs. Then we have three organs at national level. They are Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, 
that stands for medical education central council of health and family welfare that stands for central health education bureau then dghs stands for drug standards that is control of drug standards we have three main units in dghs so the main unit stands for medical store report medical care stands for medical research public health stands for post graduate training and general administration stands for government health schemes that is central government health schemes let us explain in detail about the specific functions of dghs first is health intelligence second is international health relations and quarantine third one is national medical library fourth one is national health program and fifth one is medical education sixth one is central health education bureau seventh one is control of drug standards eighth is medical store report and ninth is medical research and tenth is post graduate training and last one eleventh is central government health schemes let us explain in detail first one is health intelligence to maintain the national statistics or health intelligence central bureau of health intelligence established in, in 1961 with the purpose of to centralize the all the activities related to health statistics or health survey that is collection compilation analysis of uh, information data evaluation of the data and uh, dissemination that is publication of the data that is all information on health related statistics for the nation as a whole that is health intelligence the second function is international health relations and uh, quarantine so it is a function of the dghs to obtain the assistance from the various international agencies and coordinating their activities in our country then dghs directly control the major ports like kolkata visakhapatnam mumbai chennai kochi kandla and even international airports such as mumbai santa cruz kolkata dum dum chennai meenambakkam and tiruchirappalli and delhi palam the third function is national medical library so the central medical library of dghs declared the national medical library in 1966 with the purpose to help the advancement of medical health and related sciences by collection dissemination and exchange of the health related information thus dghs organized the national medical library fourth function is national health programs dghs play a vital role in planning guiding and coordinating all the national health programs in our country then medical education dghs has a direct control to many medical colleges in india and also many medical colleges are guided and supported by the central government that is a function of medical education the sixth specific function is central health education bureau central health education bureau comes under the direct control of the dghs the outstanding or important activity of this bureau is preparation and supply of the health education materials throughout the country for the awareness program and it also offer the various training programs or training courses in relation to health education the seventh function is control of drug standards drug control organization is a part of the dghs it lay down and enforce the standards and control the manufacturing and distribution of the various drugs through both central and state government offices the eighth function is medical store depot union government runs various medical store depots at mumbai chennai kolkata karnal guwahati and hyderabad and it also supplies the civil medical requirements to the central and the various state governments thus there is a central medical store depot which is comes under the control of the dghs the next is ninth function is medical research medical research in india organized largely through the indian council of medical research in delhi medical research in india directly comes under the dghs the tenth specific function is post graduate training dghs is responsible for the administration and control of the various national institutes in india this institution also provide the post graduate training for the various categories of the health personnels or health workers the last function is 11th function is central government health scheme central government health schemes for the central government employees which comes direct under the control of the directorate general of health services in india so these are the 11 specific functions of dghs so let us summarize the topic health system in india at central level we have three organs that is union ministry of health and family welfare directorate general of health services and the central council of health and family welfare today we have discussed about the directorate general of health services it is headed by director general of health services under his there are three deputy director general of health services responsible for the medical care and hospitals general administration and public health respectively
Then functions of DGHS. We have two type of functions, general functions and specific functions. General function includes five functions that is surveys, planning, programming, appraisal and coordinating. Spark. The specific function includes health intelligence, international health relations and quarantine, national medical library, national health programs, medical education, central health education bureau, control of drug standards, medical store depot, medical research, postgraduate training, central government health scheme. That's all about the today's topic that is Directorate General of Health Services. So thanks for watching. Hope this video really benefits in your studies. If you feel it is really worth and benefit, please like, share and subscribe my channel. Stay tuned with Angel Health Academy till we meet with another and important educational video. Thank you.